Hey guys, in the video I have for you today, I'm going back to a call I was at yesterday. I started the call, but abruptly had to leave um, to receive some equipment and stuff like that. And I just came back today. And all I remember is that the blower wasn't working and I unplugged the contactor. So let's look into it and see what's going on. Let's dig into it. I'm gonna have to re go over most everything. It's like I don't even, it's like I don't even trust what I did yesterday sometimes. I'm certainly not gonna trust somebody else's opinion. Alright, blower is not running. Contactor's not running because I had removed this. Alright, we should have a G signal on this green wire that goes all the way to the motor. Common is up here. I got no call on G. Let's see if it'll come on if we give it a call. All right, I'm going to jump straight from red to green and see if that blower comes on. I thought the first time out, I saw it turning a little bit and then it didn't. That might be full speed. It's kind of hard to tell. And that's my ground and green goes, that goes to five. So I'm on, let me make sure. Yeah. Whew. That turned upside down, but yeah, green is on fire. Okay. I know it wasn't getting a call, but this motor is 1050 RPM, so you would think on five that it would be ramping up. That seems very slow. I mean, without being able to read the actual RPMs, we go by sound, and it just don't seem like 1075. Okay, so I was wrong. It was not on five, it was on one. I should have taken a picture with my camera.
Let's see what these red and blue ones are. One of these is going to be for heat, and I think it's the red, and the blue is going to be for cooling. If you get a cooling only signal. Let's put everything back together, turn the thing on, and see if we get decent pressures because the filter inside was clean. All right, now to this other problem. I had turned on the thermostat in cooling and turned the fan on. And I can, I'm gonna try to show you what I just heard. I'm checking between red and green. And I've got, if that wire's not in the way, 22 volts. So I don't have a call on green. I'll check up here on my yellow that goes to the contactor. <clears throat> to red. I do have a call on yellow. Now. Thank you. Yeah, I just I saw it. I saw it. I think I just fixed it. You'll see. I'll take you outside and show you. Y'all hear that? That blower's running. I heard it come on when I was inside. Now, let's put this wire back on the contactor. And check pressures. All right, what I saw when I was inside, and I said, I think I see it. The green wire was not pushed into the slot far enough to make the tab go back so it looked like it had slipped out. I just pushed it in deeper, made sure it put. Or I'm not sure they actually do it click, but you can see the tab push down. So I pushed it down and pushed it as far in as I could and the tab stayed down. So I think that's all it needed was to get pushed back in. All right, that is currently my suction pressure. I've looked at this coil pretty good and it looks clean to me. This looks like, in fact, the panels acted like they'd never been taken off. And if I can find a clip, I'll show you. But I had a lot of trouble getting those off. But um, I think that's all it was, was a loose wire.